Yes, hello, and welcome to my brand new channel and lunchtime with Nathaniel. Uh, so, uh, so for lunch, I have had uh, sprouts, alfalfa sprouts that I sprout myself, of course. Uh, very economical, yet very, very nutritious. Uh, things that we cannot find any other place. Vitamins, minerals, and most importantly, enzymes of the living sprout that are almost completely devoid in our food, our industrialized diet is what I call it. Things that have been manufactured. This is the old way of eating. The old, yet very beneficial, natural, pure, best way of eating. Yes? Uh, this is some red clover sprouts, which I have allowed to ripen in the sun for a number of days now. Uh, I like them to be in the sun because they begin to produce chlorophyll. And with the clover, uh, I really enjoy the taste and also the nutrition, uh, nutrient benefits of the chlorophyll-filled red clover. So, then I will put on a few spoonfuls of uh, the fermented vegetables that I, of course, make myself. Uh, I will probably do a tutorial on how to do this as well, but the reason I am doing this is, uh, well, because it's just the right way, the, the natural order of things, but because these are both, all of these are living foods. They are alive. Uh, the sprouts are the most living food you can get. Uh, imagine the the force that it takes for a sprout to push up through the earth and move things that are hundreds of times its weight, and uh, I mean it can do it can crack concrete, you know, uh, roots and sprouts and things like this can. I mean that's the kind of force it has. This desire to live, this uh, it will live. It wants to thrive, and this desire is what I call life force and it is very important to our body, our health, our mental and physical well-being that we consume things that have this force, this will, this desire to live in them. It's very important and almost entirely devoid in our modern industrialized diet. Foods that have been processed and stripped of certain elements and then enriched because they've been stripped and then filled with preservatives so that they can sit on a shelf for months and months. No, no. This is old food. Old, devoid, old food devoid of nutrients. We want fresh, living food that is full of water and nutrients and enzymes. For example, alfalfa is, as the Persians called it, they coined the name, which means father of all foods. And it is literally the father of all foods. It has every known vitamin and mineral in it, I believe. And it has all kinds of things, uh, enzymes that are beneficial for our digestion, things that give us energy, and that it's so easy for our body to digest this. It doesn't have to work so hard as, as like digesting a steak or something like this, flesh. Oh, man. It, it really expends a lot of energy. It, it can putrefy in, in, in the system. No. That is why we eat fresh living food and we experience the unbelievable, unimaginable benefits of the living food, the life force. This is also a living food, fermented in case you're wondering. Uh, it is raw, it is not heat treated, it is not sterilized at all. The natural yeast and beneficial bacteria go to work to uh, sterilize what is in here. Uh, and in doing so, uh, creates a whole colony and networks of microbial activity and things that our body can use. They're friendly to our system. This is very alive, very beneficial. Uh, if you think it's not alive, try to make it and don't crack the lid for a day, it'll blow the can up. <laughs> uh, so, yes. And then I put on some fresh basil that I picked from right outside, of course. And then uh, some ground cumin, yes. Uh, I smother it in olive oil, uh, extra virgin olive oil, of course, because I love the calories, the, the clean, 
nature of the olive oil. It's very high in calories and very easy for the body to digest and it helps us in so many ways. Uh, I learned this from living in Greece uh, some years ago now that they would smother everything in olive oil and you didn't see much obesity there. You didn't see, even though the foods were really rich and heavy. Um, well, more on all that later. I have a lot I want to say and this channel is going to be my outlet to say it. Uh, so if you would like to uh, sort of absorb things that I've learned over the past, you know, decades, then please subscribe to this channel, uh, or not, or just check it out whenever you want, it doesn't matter, but hopefully someone can benefit from my experience and my understanding of the way life works. So that is what this channel is, and we're going to be doing all kinds of things like diet, getting that cleaned up in a very easy, uh, functional, practical way. Meditation, of course, uh, both sitting, med all different forms of meditation, man, it's all good. And I got all of it coming. Um, and ways to arrange our house so that it is conducive to um, peace and tranquility and positivity, things like this. So this is my first video ever. Uh, yes, so if you like it, uh, good. And I don't have a catchphrase yet, but <laughs> um, so long as we keep our thoughts positive, our intentions pure, and our vibrations high, we are bound to meet with success. Thank you.